excited. Today we're going to head off and catch up with Ruben from Keeping Up With The Boys. Um, yeah, it's going to be a good day. It's got a patrol on 35s, Cymaxes, so it's a pretty awesome rig. I think it's got a 3 inch lift, solid axles all around, so it's bound to outperform me with that, but that's fine. Should get some good video of him and um, just installed a 2 inch lift on my Pajero, so I'm really keen to see how that performs. Been a bit further off the rocks now. The front was really sagged due to the due to the bull bar. Um, got some new tyres as well. Got some Falcon Wild Peak AT3s. Um, yeah, they're brand spanking new. First set of tyres I've had in a while that are brand new. So yeah, I'm excited to see how they perform as well. Probably going to let them down a bit. Maybe 20, maybe 16 psi. Uh, the Pajeros seem to like going right down pretty low because of the high high profile or low profile tyres. What channel are we on there? What channel? Channel 10, favourite number. <laughs> roger, roger. Yes, Dodger. Alright, let's go. Let's stop mucking around. Copy that, mate. Let's go. <laughs> We're getting to the hard bit now. Will the Pajero make it down? I think good chance. What do you reckon? I reckon things are going to be alright. It's just a little... Everything's going to be alright. Alright, know me. Alright? <laughs> so like you said, just remember, it's a family car. Alright? Family car. You gotta, you gotta test the family car out and make sure yeah. it's capable. Yeah. Well, Alright, now we get to test this lift kit out properly. Some nice large blocks here. And then we'll get to see how that extra clearance really helps out. It doesn't take a whole lot just to get you over those bit bigger rocks and have just enough clearance underneath not to scrape the whole underbelly down all the rocks. The, um, the extra half an inch from the tyres also gives a little bit more lift as well and overall it comes out as a pretty nice package that can go over some pretty decent rocks if you're very careful. As you can see here I'm basically babying it down the hill just trying to get used to what it's going to behave like and also how much clearance I actually have. Yeah, easy. She's pretty slippery. Tell you what. So after having the lift kit in for a couple of months, um, after a wheel alignment, I had to get that the next day as the wheel alignment was quite out. But um, yeah, I'm really enjoying the Dobinsons comboed with the level springs. It's nice and smooth to drive. Um, it actually drives better on road than it did before because the old springs were fairly flogged out. Um, has a lot less body roll and it's actually really good off-road now. It makes it able to actually be driven off-road properly where you can get over a few obstacles. Yeah, it's still not a hardcore comp truck, but um, it's a very nice daily driver and it also works well if you want to take it fairly extreme off-road, to be honest. These tracks weren't novice, but they weren't the craziest either. Yeah. You don't? I'm just not used to it doing, like, having so much wheels in there, man. It makes me feel uncomfortable. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, perfect.
This rock here, otherwise you'll fall down. You need to be like in this tree. Oh, he's taking his bendy off. It's on, boys. We're gonna get some action here, live, live from this place that we are. Oh boy, taking the big boy route. Oh, here we break it up. Oh, that's an action one. Woo! Yeah, get some. <laughs> sound great but maybe it'll come back like last time yeah probably it's probably your CV from last time so I'm yelling no that's bad man that does not sound the Gunter oh dear I think we might have actually broken it this time finally, blown up the CV. finally. that's the spirit mate that's the spirit I'm just gonna go turn my car off because we might be a while You got the cable to pull that way. Ruben's done! No, cables are for girls. Cables are for girls. Winches are for girls. I'm gonna save this footage for later. Winches and cables are for girls. Alright. Unless you're doing like hardcore mudding and like out by yourself. Well, you pretty much are out by yourself if you're with an IFS, aren't you? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> pretty much. <laughs> no one's coming to get me. No one's coming to save you. Now I just want to mention the tyres that I'm running, it's, I ended up going with the Falcon Wild Peak AT3s, um, yeah a lot of people are running these so I decided to give them a try, I've um, always had BFGs up until this point, they've been a great tyre, but these tyres are almost $100 cheaper and also they come widely recommended and they look really cool too so I decided to go with them and I was really surprised in the day, it's very muddy, lots of, um, lots of slippery clay, lots of slippery gravel as well. Um, bit of rocks here and there and they performed outstandingly they were really good um, when I let them down they bag out really nicely and yeah I've had a really good experience with them um, they've been really good on road as well We've got lots of nice traction so yeah overall very happy with those times yeah them side steps watch it. Ooh. yeah watch you're good it. No, I mean, watch it see by the sidewall of the fire, that's all the <laughs> Nice and straight. Yeah, that's good. Ooh, hold up. This way. Just bulldozing. Yeah. Mm. Big water crossing. Look at this raging river. He hasn't even got a snorkel. What a madman. Oh my goodness. <laughs> what hashtag bravery? Hashtag bravery, John. Water crossing for that <laughs> You're gonna get a. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna, gonna get, jump in. I was gonna jump on the side here, but I might get a bit <laughs> brushed. Be well groomed. We ended up having to just reverse the patrol back down the track. It was pretty easy, to be honest. This thing's an absolute weapon, so just reverse back down 
and as you can see here in this clip it's only running three wheel drive but really for a patrol that's not really a disadvantage it's probably still about ten times more capable than the Pajero is look at all that clearance eh? what a beast that's your brake making that noise hey Side step on that side? Yeah. Good work. Yeah, it's good, eh? Yeah. That turn shift is mad. Yeah. It's about where it needs to be now. It's like not too low. It's still a little bit low, but like it's not crazy. Like it's still a little chunky. Yeah. Still just, nice and capable. Just right. For the family. That's it. That and you won't scare your wife. <laughs> it's gonna crawl up it. Not even a problem. Excuse me, mate. Excuse me. Excuse me. This is actually a full drive trip. You can't just do it all in two wheel drive. Oh. There's this stick thing in here. Because that wheel's spinning and that one's not. Uh, need a tighter LSD. That's it. Alright, now it's going to try it in full drive. Because you know, it's a full drive trip. <laughs> 